What really happened to Chris Sarandon? Star in Fright Night. Chris Sarandon was born on July 24, 1942, in Beckley, West Virginia, the son of restaurateurs Chris Sarandon and Cliffy. E. His father, whose surname was original Sarandunthas, was born in Istanbul, Turkey, of Greek ancestry, his mother is also of Greek descent. Sarandon graduated from Woodrow Wilson High School in Beckley. He earned a degree in speech at West Virginia University. He earned his master's degree in theater from the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Through life's milestones, what went through a little sad? Have trouble in the couple love story. Sarandon has been married three times. He married actress Susan Sarandon in 1967. The couple first met while attending the Catholic University of America together in Washington, D.C. The marriage lasted for 12 years. The pair divorced in 1979. After divorcing from Susan, he married his second wife, fashion model Lisa Ann Cooper, in 1980. The couple had two daughters and one son, Stephanie, Alexis, and Michael. The marriage ended in divorce in 1989 after nine years of marriage. In 1994, he married his third wife, actress and singer Joanna Gleason. The couple met while performing in Broadway's short-lived 1991 musical Nick and Nora. They returned to the stage together in 1998's Thorn and Bloom. They also collaborated in several films together, such as Road Ends, Edie, and Penn, let the Devil Wear Black, and American Perfect. Looking back at his youthful years how much effort he made. After graduation, he toured with numerous improvisational companies and became much involved with regional theater, making his professional debut in the play The Rose Tattoo during 1965. In 1968, Sarandon moved to New York City, where he obtained his first television role as Dr. Tom Halverson for the series The Guiding Light. He appeared in the primetime television movies The Satan Murders and Thursday's Game before obtaining the role in Dog Day Afternoon. A performance which earned him nominations for Best New Male Star of the Year at the Golden Globes and the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Sarandon appeared in the Broadway play The Rothschilds and the Two Gentlemen of Verona as well as making regular appearances at numerous Shakespeare and George Bernard Shaw festivals in the United States and Canada. He also had a series of television roles, some of which corresponded to his affinity for the classics. He also had roles in the thriller movie Lipstick and as a demon in the movie The Sentinel. To avoid being typecast in villainous roles, Sarandon accepted various roles of other types during the years to come, portraying the title role of Christ in the made-for-television movie The Day Christ Died. He received accolades for his portrayal of Sidney Carton in a TV movie version of A Tale of Two Cities, co-starred with Dennis Hopper in the 1983 movie The Osterman Weekend, which was based on the Robert Ludlum novel of the same name, and co-starred with Goldie Hawn in the movie Protocol. These were followed by another mainstream success as The Vampire Next Door in the horror movie Fright Night. He starred in the 1986 TV movie Liberty, which addressed the making of New York City's Statue of Liberty. These were followed by another mainstream success as The Vampire Next Door in the horror movie Fright Night. He starred in the 1986 TV movie Liberty, which addressed the making of New York City's Statue of Liberty. He is best known in the film industry for his role as Prince Humperdinck in Rob Reiner's 1987 movie The Princess Bride, though he also has had supporting parts in other successful movies such as the original Child's Play. In 1992, he played Joseph Kerwin, Charles Dexter Ward in The Resurrected. He also provided the voice of Jack Skellington, the main character of Tim Burton's animated Disney movie The Nightmare Before Christmas and has since reprised the role in other productions, including the Disney Square video games Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2 and the Capcom sequel to the original movie, Oogie's Revenge.
Sarandon also reprised his role as Jack Skellington for several Disneyland Halloween events and attractions including Halloween Screams, The Frightfully Fun Parade, and The Haunted Mansion Holiday, a three-month overlay of The Haunted Mansion, where Jack and his friends take control of a mansion in an attempt to introduce Christmas, much as his character did in the movie. Sarandon appeared on TV again with a recurring role as Dr. Burke on NBC's long-running medical drama Er. In 1991 he performed on Broadway in the short-lived musical Nick and Nora, based on the movie The Thin Man, with Joanna Gleason, the daughter of Monty Hall. Sarandon married Gleason in 1994. They have appeared together in a number of movies, including Edie and Penn, American Perfect, and Let the Devil Wear Black. During the 2000s he made guest appearances in several TV series, notably as the necromancer demon, Armand, in Charmed, and as Superior Court Judge Barry Crumble for six episodes of Judging Amy. In 2006 he played Signor Naccarelli in the six-time Tony Award-winning Broadway musical play The Light in the Piazza at Lincoln Center. Most recently he appeared in Cyrano de Bergerac as Antoine de Gouche, with Kevin Kline, Jennifer Garner, and Daniel Sunjata. He is on the advisory board for the Greenbrier Valley Theater in Lewisburg, West Virginia. In 2016 he performed in the off-Broadway production of the Dave Malloy musical Preludes as Anton Chekhov, Tchaikovsky, Alexander Glazunov, Leo Tolstoy, Tsar Nicholas II, and The Master. And what about this guy? No one succeeds without sacrificing effort into it. I just know, to be successful, people have to try a lot.